that on. All right. Hey, everyone. My name is Ben, and uh, I'm here to talk a little bit about banjos. Um, uh, so I want to talk about Chinese banjos. So right now I live in China, and uh, it's really hard to buy banjos or come up with any actual good review. So... What I decided to do is post this video to talk a little bit about some of the banjos that are here in China and give, you know, maybe my uh, my view on them. Um, first one we're going to look at is a very cheap banjo that I got about a couple years ago and, um, you know, kind of got it just to start out, just to start practicing to get better. And then we're going to look at another banjo. I'm going to talk about the prices. Um, a little bit about my interpretation of it and what I think about it and then we can kind of move on from there. Alright, so first we're going to talk about this banjo. So this is called um, Timothy. So the thing about the Timothy that um, this is the cheap banjo, I actually don't like it. Um, this peg right here falls off really easily. It's just very cheaply put together. This thing is probably about equivalent of 80 US dollars that you can get here. Um, I would only recommend it to you if um, you're just starting out on the banjo. Um, another thing is this um, this peg right here. I think it's called a peg. Um, it's designed really poorly and then the, the, the wire wraps around right here. So actually I've had a couple of times when I strung it this wire was poking out, and while I was playing, I would come in and slide down and actually end up hurting my finger. Um, not a very good banjo overall. Also, it doesn't have this uh, peg right here where you can put your hand on it. And these are just some of the, like, the, the early design flaws. Now we're going to you know, talk a little bit about playing it. Um, one thing I notice is that it's always just a little bit off tune. This is some new strings I put on it, so I can't blame the strings on it. Um, if we listen, um, if I just kind of play uh, like a simple roll. We can hear that it just doesn't sound right. And even when I, um, let's play, um, I'm going to play, uh, what is it called? Foggy Mountain Breakdown for you guys to kind of listen to the actual quality of the of the instrument. Um. just like whenever I play it it sounds a little muffled and I don't know the reason why it could be because I'm putting my um, like when I'm doing it I'm putting it right here so I mean a couple ways you might be able to improve it is maybe add something right here so your your like you know your arm is not resting on it um, I'm not too sure what else you could do I've tried putting new strings on it um, I actually bought some oil for it and tried to oil it down to see if I can't like make anything to improve it. But right now, it just seems like it's not working well. It just doesn't sound very good. It's good for like a beginner banjo, but if you want something a little more advanced, um, then I would recommend something else. So if you're looking for something to kind of start off with, and you know you you live in China. Timothy is a banjo. It's not great. Um, yeah, and that, that's just about all I can do is sit there and talk about that one. The next one, um, I actually like the name of it. It's called Feeling. Like, I've got a feeling. Like, the first thing you kind of notice is that the head, a really heavy head. And again, it has this little thing you can put your hand on. Um, I like the way. Um, these, these pegs are set up, um, 
And this thing right here, again, it looks like it's solidly built. Um, I just got this today. Um, it might be still a little bit out of tune. And you can see right here, like when you're tuning it, this wire doesn't stick out. So I don't risk getting poked. Now the difference between this one and that one is this one's two, about 200 maybe 250 270 dollars so i i pitched in a little bit extra for a case and that case probably cost me about 15 dollars the case that it actually went with was a really nice case it's got locks here 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 and all over the inner instrument so it's actually a really secure case if you're looking for something that's really secure that that will protect your instrument and even the inside it's just got very good lining um, there's a whole a lot of other stuff that's included in this they even yeah this thing they even included a key so I'm pretty happy with my uh, with my purchase so you know straight off the bat if I sit there and play it It just sounds in tune, it sounds nice, there's like a deep body to it, um, way different than, than that one. That one, when I was playing that, it just sounded a little bit off. Um, so I'm going to play Foggy Mountain Breakdown, and you can decide whether you think there's a difference or not. Um, let's get this all down. If I mess up a little bit, sorry. Um. <laughs> up a little bit but that's okay um, you know we always we always make mistakes when we're playing but um, yeah another thing I got out of this was full like playing this instrument has I can tell a huge difference just even with like if I'm sliding it just sounds natural it sounds nice it's like a nice earth like best way I can put it is like an earth tone like this sounds like a very solid well put together instrument. I absolutely love it so far and I've only had it for less than two hours. It's something I would recommend and this is Feeling Banjo and uh, they have certain numbers so this is a Feeling 45 Banjo and then they have some other some other they have the tenor and then one other one but if you're looking for a banjo that's like actually a good quality banjo from China, um, you know this is this is actually a very solid, well put together instrument, and it's you know only about two hundred and fifty, two hundred and seventy dollars. Um, yeah, that's about my my review. All I can give on on these instruments. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you. Um, yeah, guys, I guess keep on picking. <laughs>